Welcome to Rotary and Serving Our Community. My name is Wade Nimmer and today we're going to take a look at Bollywood. Bollywood and how this uh, idea came together and with me today to help me out with this is Debbie Murphy. Hi Wade. And Beth Schmore. Hi Wade. Hi. Debbie, we're going to start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am um, a Carpinterian. I've been in Carpinteria since the early 1970s. I'm a real estate broker. I own Murphy King Real Estate. I have three children. And uh, I've been in Rotary for seven, eight years, and I love the organization. Great. Yeah. Thank you. How about you, Beth? Beth Schmore, and I'm from Carpinteria as well. Newbie to Carpinteria, just seven years. And I've been with Rotary just about that long. And uh, local artist uh, around town, and I've got two children, and my husband and I enjoy living in Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> so where were you uh, originally from? Originally, uh, Midwest, Midwest, but I lived in Alaska, uh, Anchorage, Alaska for 18 years. A little change so, between uh, Anchorage, Alaska and Carpinteria then. Yes, they're both beautiful. And Rotary, how about you, Debbie? How, how involved have you been in Rotary? I've been ridiculously involved <laughs> in Rotary. I, um, from the get-go, I was involved and I started going to the board meetings. I became president after I was in Rotary about four years, five years and served for a year as president, and I've held just about every office that there is in the club. Um, I love the organization because it's a way to um, like think of a project and do a project and have a whole team of local people that want to work with you. And um, that just makes it fun. And I love all the people in Rotary. They're just all hardworking, funny people. Volunteers, basically, is what they all are. They, they love are to volunteer. Volunteers. They're all volunteers yeah. Yeah. and yeah. willing to volunteer. Um, you know, they actually are the ones that will get out and do the work. They'll clean the sidewalks. They'll <laughs> paint the walls. They'll do stuff that you can't even imagine just because <laughs> it needs to be done. Perfect. Yeah. And speaking of volunteers, how about you, Beth? Tell us a little bit about your rotary. Rotary, for me, when I first came, um, was a, a way, an avenue to learn what was going on in the community and to get involved in the community and to be out there and help. And again, I agree with Debbie, too. You have a project in mind. You have something you, you see that the community needs, and you bring it up, and everybody's like, yeah, sign me up. Let's do it. <laughs> so, you know, we may not do our own yard service, but we'll be out there mowing the yard for other people. That's, um, yeah, that's, that's the way it goes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Beth, what would be uh, one of your highlights, I would say, uh, that Rotary, something that stands out that you've done? Well, of course, uh, Casino Night, we've mm -hmm. done that, and that's a, that's a huge um, event that we are proud to do and I'm proud to be part of. Uh, smaller, smaller avenues, though, are the working pulling weeds at the Tomal interpretive play area, and very proud to say that that's, that Rotary Club had a part in that. All right, yeah. thank you. How about you, Debbie? I've uh, had this amazing opportunity to do international travel with mm -hmm. Rotary, and um, I've been to Mexico a few times. I got to go to Japan. I have, uh, and then most recently, I traveled to India, and that was an extraordinary trip, and um, and I learned a lot about Rotary, and I learned about how Rotary has been working to eliminate polio in the world. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's jump, jump into some of your pictures, because you brought oh, some okay. pictures with sure. you. Uh, the first picture shows a group of uh, students, it looks like, uh, in a parade. They are. They're in a little parade. It's the day of that, that begins the National Immunization Day in India. And they have six of these days a year, which is a huge thing to do in India. There's a lot of people in India. There's 1.21 million, billion people, not million, billion people. And a huge number of them are children. So they have to immunize all those children every year, uh, several times as a matter of fact. And so these children are in the parade to let everyone in this little community know that it's time to get immunized. And um, they had very annoying little whistles that were passed out to them, and they made a lot of noise, and they were singing. And uh, they were shouting, end polio now, end polio now. And um, they were just cute as can be. And it was really good. You didn't have the uh, canned music in the background, I, I take it. The as canned music? Some of the, er some of the areas, they actually put big speakers on there, the back I of the I think there was a lot of noise. So there pranks. was, and I've forgotten that. There was just a lot of noise. There's and, a lot of noise. Um, but it was, uh, it was moving. It was exciting to see how behind the program they were, how they were honored that they didn't have polio in India anymore and that they had to 
you know, stay on guard because polio is still just right next door to them. Uh, polio still exists in Pakistan and Afghanistan, and uh, there haven't, hasn't been a case in India for over five years now. Yeah. But they are proud of that, and they definitely want to keep it that way. That's great. Yeah. And um, give me a guesstimate on how many people you saw in that parade. This little parade? Oh, there were over 100 people yeah. in that parade. It was children. It was women. There were men there. It was people from several different cultures in mm -hmm. India. And uh, they were all chanting together and uh, happy to be there. Right. It was, uh, the umbrellas were up because it was actually drizzling that day, uh -huh. which okay. was strange because it's not, it wasn't the monsoon season. This was in February. I remember in uh, Muradabad, we were, it was a larger community. Actually, it was a city, not like a community like yeah. you went to. They would have between 600 and 1,200 people in those parades um, that would go for blocks, probably a half mile long. Yeah, they were just yeah. marching, marching, marching. They, they would yeah, march, they and were. march, march, march. Yeah. And did you end up in the front of the, of the parade? I, uh, I, no, I was just sort of in the middle of it. Oh, okay. I mean, it was just sort of passing me by, I think is the best way to okay. describe it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What they did with us, they actually drove us to the front. Oh. And we had to wait for the parade and jump in the front because they couldn't get around it. Oh, oh okay. So we needed all these detours <laughs> to get in front. They put us in front of the parade, and that was it. And then the parade was over. Yeah. <laughs> but all it the kids had parade. little rotary hats on and little end polio yeah, now hats. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, perfect. Uh, next picture we have is a picture of uh, a cow. I took a lot of pictures of yeah. cows when I was in India because mm -hmm. cows are so present in India. Cows are a holy symbol in India. And they're everywhere, on every busy street, there are cows just cruising along, eating grass, eating whatever they find. They didn't really care. Um, in the middle of traffic, in large intersections, you could count on the cows being there. Mm -hmm. um, people would reach out and touch the cow because the cow is holy. So it was a way of blessing themselves to engage with the cow. Um, you had to watch out a little bit for the bulls because they were walking around too. I saw one of the bulls chasing a tourist down the street. And, um, and, but everyone was really respectful of these animals. And I took sure. a silly number of pictures of cows in India. And then we later used uh, the cows as part of our theme for our casino night that we uh, did to raise money. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Now, did you see any water buffalo there? Yeah, I saw lots of water, water buffalo. buffalo. They were yeah. mingling with the cows, walking down the street. <laughs> and I really miss them. I wanted to bring cows back to Carpinteria. I <laughs> want to start a plan where cows just walk around. But I don't think, um, <laughs> no, I don't don't think, think so. they would be as safe as they are in India. In India, uh, people eat a vegetarian diet. And in Carpinteria, people eat tri-tips. So I think it wouldn't <laughs> turn out so well. That would be a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd ask city council about that either you right now. I, you Not could. right now. I should go to you then, <laughs> <You could>. council. <laughs> You might be the one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Uh, next picture we have, it's a great picture of you. Um, yeah. Looks like a child that you may have just immunized. Yes, well, I was just holding the baby. Okay. Um, the, uh, the mother just handed me the baby. The baby was actually nice. kind of wet, which made it a little funnier. <laughs> but um, uh, we were going door to door to make sure that each child had been immunized. And we were being shown by the workers uh, who do this how they... Uh, check the children to make sure each child receives a mark on their right or left pinky. I left can't remember pinky. which one it was. Mm -hmm. Left pinky, left yeah. Pinky. And uh, to indicate that they have been immunized. And then, um, and then the workers actually put markings on the door uh, in chalk to, to say who lives in the house, who was immunized, is there anyone that was missed, and which direction the right. worker is going down the street so that they can have this amazing trail and check each and every child in the country. It was unbelievable, the records that they kept. Yeah, All very, in these big, ancient true. ledgers, like yeah. something out of another time. We're yeah. used to computers, and they had handwritten ledgers, and they kept three copies of them. Right, yeah. right. Uh -huh. And also, probably to point out, uh, immunization actually is an oral vaccine. That's yes. another thing that makes it easy to handle. Yeah, they're yeah. just little teeny vials, and they have drops enough for many children, and the drops are just simply put in the kids' mouths, and they don't seemed to mind the taste of it, and uh, people were happy to hand us their babies and <laughs> let us give them drops. Now, did you remember you couldn't touch the vial? Is it still that same way? It's the same way I didn't touch the vial. Yeah, and the and reason for that, you can't get the temperature up to a certain degree. Yeah. Oh, right. It's so it, it yeah. sits in um, well, dry ice, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah keep, they keep it keep quite cold, and, and uh, it's a lot of work to keep it cold in a country where there isn't always refrigeration. Very true. Yeah. Very true. 
Okay, let's jump into the event. We're talking about Bollywood here, <laughs> and I'm assuming that the idea or theme came from your trip to India. I think it did. I think, yeah. I, yeah, you, the planning of the trip, because yeah. of course we start, we start the planning prior to Correct. a few months before the event. But however, knowing she was going to India and really wanting to emphasize the celebration of polio, the end of polio, or toward the end of polio, mm -hmm. we... Um, and of course, it is a party. It's a it's a fun time. Um, we decided that uh, that uh, something coming from India, Bollywood, would be really fun. Sounds good. And uh, yeah. this is the fundraiser for the club, right? It's the number one fundraiser. Num well, we've got you know we've got a couple of major fundraisers. We do the calendar right. as well, and this is this is another fundraiser that we can use the money to give back to in Polio Now, our Tomol Interpretive Play Area, and other community projects. So tell us a little bit about the uh, event itself. Uh, what, what was it? What was involved? Uh, what did the attendees get uh, or anticipate getting? <laughs> well, people like to come to a party in Carpinteria where um, they just get to come and have fun. They I, it's just one get of the to come and have fun. People say about our event all the time that, um, you know, there's a lot of fundraising events in Carpinteria where people get to go and have some fun, but they might also sit at a table and have a formal dinner and, you know, like, listen to an auctioneer, and we, uh, we just let them come and have fun, and, and we hope that they bid on our silent auction items. And so, we feed them. Okay. And they got amazing Indian food this year, so we were quite proud of that. Yeah. And we had a great chef. You did that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Tamron, correct? Tamron, yes, Tamron and her, uh, her partner, <laughs> yes. Food was excellent, by the way. It yeah, was great. Kenny did a Took great job. Took me back to India, that's for sure. It did. It did. It <laughs> yeah. really was authentic. It was it was. Amazing. Yeah, and amazing the guests good. were really surprised yeah. at how amazingly good the food was. True. Yes. Yeah. And we didn't have to worry about getting sick this time. No. We got to no. just eat it. <laughs> we never got sick at it from any of our food. Oh, you mean no, when you from India. India. Yeah. India. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you go to a foreign country, things exactly. happen, you know? Exactly. Yeah. 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 So the first picture we have is a picture of uh, three ladies here. Yeah. In, in and, front and of the, the elephant. And the elephant. Well, and Kevin Baird's in the picture. Being you know, dwarfed. Kevin. Yeah, the elephant being dwarfed by Kevin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's the elephant in the room. Beth designed uh, the elephant. That's a beautiful elephant. Yes, yeah, and uh, designed it, and then we um, painted it in parts, basically, because it laid in, in my garage floor, and uh, we painted it in parts and taped it together and taped it up there. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Along with that, we had the cows, like Debbie was saying. We painted... I don't know. There was a, there cows? was a there was a Could team of us more. that painted cows, and they were those cows went all the way around the gym. They did. Yes, yeah, I, I did. Yeah. Yes. I kept hoping that we would just find a docile real cow that we could paint one side of and get it to <laughs> lay down on the paper and then stand up. Yeah. but we never yeah, could it find didn't that work. one. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. So who did all the painting, by the way? Because there were literally fifty to hundred cows out there. There was a full team of us um, from from Rotary and. Uh, We've got Karen came in. She's a new mm -hmm. member, mm -hmm. and Karen Glancy, mm -hmm. and there was Kim Fly, and there were a lot of cow painters. A lot of, lot of cow <laughs> painters, were. and we spent two weekends painting wow. cows. So two weekends. Two weekends painting cows. Okay. You know the the thing that I thought was really fun about it is after we painted the cows and put the decoration up, and Beth did this amazing work in between the cows, uh, like design work. It, kind of paisley looking stuff that was cool and then we put it up on the wall and then it was up and all the children from the boys and girls club keep looking into the yeah, gym and yeah. they're like whoa that's really pretty and then boys and girls club asked us to leave it up for them oh. so they got kind of a newly revised gym when we were done because yeah. now they have cows in their gym oh, they were very so excited yeah, it was, they, yeah i felt like we really brought art to the Boys and Girls Club, yeah. which was a sweet thing, and it gave us an awareness of the club that we didn't have before we started. Very true. That is true. Yeah. That, that is, is true, true, yes. Yeah, so one of the partnerships that Rody created. Yeah, it was it a good partnership. Good yeah. partnership. Yeah. Great. It had us all take ownership in their club. And that was the first time we actually had the fundraiser at? Yes. At the Boys and Girls yeah. Club in Carpinteria. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Next picture we have is a picture, uh, we have a few pictures here, but the next picture we show of uh, the event itself. All the fun. All the fun there. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about what was planned on the inside. I know we had little gaming tables. Gaming tables, um, which is 21. We've got um, the crap gaming tables, roulette gaming tables, 
the food. There was area for, for, for dancing. Mm -hmm. We had Bollywood music. We had a screen. You can see in the back of one of those pictures. Both of them, yeah. So there was Bollywood projected <laughs> movies the whole evening. Not without the sound, but it was just people doing dancing. Yes. In perfect yeah. Bollywood style. Yes. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> the thing I... I was amazed and that I loved about this event is people came in costume. We had yes. suggested it on the True. tickets that they might come True. in costume, but you know, who has an Indian costume <laughs> sitting in their Carpinteria house? But, but, but people they do. just showed up in costume. One guy even went and rented a costume. And, oh, so um, that's where that one came from. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was wondering about that the one. That was a good one. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was very and, good. And, um, and we played with the theme of India a little bit. And when I was in India, many times I would go to a household or to an event and someone would bless me and put paint on my forehead or some right, little right. bindi on my forehead. And I don't, I don't know the significance of it. And I'm, I'm not Hindi and so I don't really know, but we decided that we would take that to the party. And so as people came in the door, we did the same thing. We used some little paints that I had purchased in India, and everyone, nearly everyone, there might have been one person in the room who didn't allow me to do it, but almost everyone allowed me to do it. And it was this interesting interaction where we kind of blessed each other in the process, and it was sweet. I, it's sweet, and, it's, and it did bring everybody together. Yeah, it, it did. did. It yeah. was um, an opening up of... of um, you know, I value you and you value me. Yeah. And it was really, it really was spiritual. Yeah, I, it kind of yeah. was. Yeah. It was. You're right. You're right. In the, the middle uh, of our casino night. Yeah. Yeah. The, the crowd actually was. They were very uh, cohesive with each other. They were. Yeah. They yeah. got along. They yeah. just really got along. Mm -hmm. Everybody had friends. And yeah. of course, we've got our, we have a silent auction, and there are many places along Carpinteria and in Santa Barbara that donate to our event to help us raise money for that. And without them, we couldn't do it either. So we do have our amazing donors for our silent auction. That's great. So the next picture we have, uh, another different angle, but it shows uh, more of the gaming tables. Uh, the place was packed. I mean, packed. for the size of the gym, which was huge, that you'd have that many people. In yeah, there. it can be a bit daunting when you walk into a gym and you're, okay, I've got to transform this into <laughs> Bollywood. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> On a budget. I On think budget. it's fun that people are willing to pretend gamble. Because that's all it is. No one's really gambling. They Very don't have true. real money. They have pretend money. And, um, but they, they, you would hear people yelling from tables because <laughs> I got a blackjack. I mean, yeah. what does it really matter? They didn't really win any money, but they all come to pretend yeah. that they yeah. win. And then if, if they win a certain amount of money, they get raffle tickets, and then they can use the raffle tickets to see if they win um, some of our raffle prizes. Right, we have three items that that are fairly large items mm -hmm. that they can that they can then put their their ticket in to for a chance <laughs> to win. S sounds good. Um, then this is the last picture we have. Um, picture of a group. <laughs> we we got to go over this there? one. Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm in there, but we got a big winner there someplace. Yeah, it's a winner in the yeah. middle of that <laughs> yeah. one. Um, there was a really generous donor in Carpentria who donated a television specifically for the pol in polio. And so we had been selling tickets for this, and, um, and you know, we sold a lot of tickets. They sold tickets at Montecito Bank and Trust, and we sold tickets at our club, and then that evening we sold a lot of tickets. And uh, Joe Lazaro, who's sitting there happily in his plaid shirt. Um, Charter president, right? Charter uh, president yeah, of our club, yeah. yeah. I happened to walk over to him. I was dressed in a sari that night, and I walked over to him, and he says, hey, Deb, go buy me a couple of tickets. And so he gives me $10, and I went over and bought a couple tickets. And Joe always, being a New Jersey guy and a, a retired uh, state police officer, he always has a way of doing things that's slightly different, and he always likes to kind of fold his tickets. <laughs> uh, he calls them crimping. crimping. So. So I'm like, I bought the tickets, and I thought, what does Joe want me to do? And I'm like, I know, he wants me to fold the tickets. So I crimped them a little bit, and I dropped them in the container, wrote his name on them first, and, and then they called the names. And what name do they call for the television? Joe Lazaro. I was like, Lazaro. <laughs> Again? Again. Yeah. And he's quite lucky. He's always lucky. Yeah. Two tickets. Yeah. Everybody else was two buying tickets. 50 tickets, yeah, exactly. tickets. I know. Exactly. He bought two tickets. He bought yes. two tickets. Didn't yeah. even the walk across minute. the room to buy them. <laughs> Actually, had you fill them out, even. He had me fill them out. 
Yeah. And then I walked back across the room to tell him That's that I had great. completed the job. That would be Joe. Yeah. <laughs> and it was and Joe. it was excitement all over the place. I it mean, was. everybody. Yes. Yeah. Everybody. Have you seen the yelling. TV set, by the way? Did he put it up? Did he keep it? I haven't. I haven't. I'm just I haven't. Yeah. I don't know. We. I said that it was half mine, but he um, <laughs> he wasn't willing to give me any part of it. Yeah. So, can I ask you a question, Wade? Sure. What do you think about Casino Night? The Casino Night? Yeah, because you've been to many of them now. It's outstanding. This is one of the better ones, if not the best. Yeah. Uh, and the reason Good I say hear. that, the community comes out. And what better way to present Rotary than showing it as a partner of the community? Mm -hmm. And for people to come and support the event just because it's what we do, and they're giving back to the community mm -hmm. through us. I think it's outstanding. Yeah. It's, it's a great one, and thank you for doing that. I mean, You're that's, welcome. I know it's a lot of work. I so, don't know. We, it's a labor of love for us. We it like is doing artistic love. stuff. Very and true. so this kind of gives us an opportunity to express it in a larger way. Yeah, the challenge to transform a gym where they play basketball into an evening that's going to represent Bollywood and to have um, people come in and enjoy the evening as something else is um, it's good. That's a good it, challenge. It is. Yeah. Now, I know you got a little bit of uh, balking, hemming, and hawing about the Bollywood theme originally, but... People, men particularly, said, what's Bollywood? What's a Bollywood? <laughs> yeah, True. Yeah, and, what is a Bollywood? But, um, and so we considered, should we change it? Should we stick with it? And we just decided, well, they need to learn. They need to get <laughs> with it. Let's show them. It's a good way to look, yeah. put it. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah, it did yeah. work. Um, yeah. I really in, appreciated this year's theme because... You know, we've had a lot of crazy themes yeah. for our casino nights, but this theme actually brought it back to Rotary in sure. a way because we were able to let people know about the polio work in India. Yeah. And we had posters up around the room mm -hmm. from India from, mm -hmm. that I picked up when I was there. And people learned about um, polio and where it is in the world today. And, and uh, people even donated extra money that evening because of it. Um, I, I think it gave great publicity to Rotary's work. It did. And I think one of the hardest parts in uh, our area, at least in the world, is that there's no polio here. No. So for people for to so talk long. about it, it's like, what and why? You yeah, know, yeah we, think it's, we think it's gone, and it, exactly. and it's, it, it isn't. It's, it is it's still there. there. It, yes. it is still there. Well, so far, only 15 cases this year. So In the whole world. Isn't that amazing? World. That yeah, is. Instead of 1,100 a day yeah. from when we started. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, big change. One of the statistics I learned when I was in India was that if they hadn't started fighting polio when they did in India, there would be 14 and a half million more children in India who actually had polio today, yeah. which is, a, uh, that's like an unbelievable number to me that that would have happened. And, um, and as it is, there's no one getting polio today. so And it's a short time that they've actually been the yeah. fight against polio yeah, in just India. A, yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Started in 1985, 84, Yeah, 85. so mm -hmm. it's been a short time. Yeah, yeah. it's been a very short but time. But they had many, many cases. They had the most polio in the world in 2009. Correct. Um, so uh, so they've, they've done a huge transformation with their country. And then they're going to take that same infrastructure and be able to use it to eliminate other diseases in India that, um, you know, that might still be present. But all the regular childhood diseases, they can now use those same list and immunize those children against things that they may still be getting in India. I know we were getting pushed when we were there in 2010 on tuberculosis being one of the ones oh, that they want to tackle mm -hmm. next. And so... Yeah. But it's, it's all about polio for now until we get rid of that one. It's so close. It is very yeah. close. Yeah, what do they say? Know. It's that close? It's, but now I think it's that <laughs> close. It's very close. It's yeah. just in Afghanistan it's, and Pakistan. And right. even in those countries, they're now allowing the full immunization. Correct. Um, I read a fabulous article in the um, Los Angeles Times recently about um, how women are, are going door-to-door -door now. They aren't going with police escorts because the police right. escorts raise the the danger level, right. and uh, now just the women are going and they're, they're fully supported by the religious leaders and it's all turning out rather nicely. It's the exact model that India used. That's, okay. that's mm -hmm. the big difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Been huge. So tell us a little bit about the uh, Bollywood night. Now, did it come out the expectations you wanted financially? Um, and Financially, that, yes, and, and, more, and even more so, we, um, we pre-sell our tickets 
but we don't always know exactly that number we have that's no going to walk no through that. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, we're, and we always think, well, there won't be anybody show up, right? Well, who's, no show, who's coming? Who's coming? We've put on a party, <laughs> and no one's going to come. And they just kept coming. And I think we sure. counted over 166 people attended the event. And we're always happy to look at a number of 10,000, and and we're happy with that. And um, for the work. But this year we're we've grossed over fifteen thousand, wow. and we will be netting closer to ten thousand this over year. 10, so. Over ten thousand. Over ten thousand this year. And yes, the proceeds so. are going to go to. We have any idea? Really, on those? three different things. They're going to go to uh, Boys and Girls Club for allowing us to Great. have the party there at okay. their facility, mm -hmm. which was really good. And I can tell that we're going to be giving them more, doing more work there, just because True. of the partnership we created. And then it's going to support our uh, Tomal interpretive play area. Yes. Good. Um, which. Um, has so many children going to it all the time that we need to keep making sure that it's okay. And then the third thing would be to uh, to the end polio. Oh, okay. uh, and uh, the thing I like about that is that Bill Gates will double whatever we give him. Correct. So, or he'll good. match he'll match the match the, it twice. Match it. Two, yes. to, two yeah. to one. Two to yeah, one. Two to yes. one. Which yes. is um, very generous of him. I appreciate that. Definitely so. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, any plans of going back to India? I would go back to India. I thought mm. India was a fascinating country, and um, I uh, it was like a bit like time travel. Um, their uh, their religions, their the way they present their religion is so profound and so public, and um, and the cities are so old, and things in the cities are old, and I kind of like all of that. Um, I loved being in the city of Varanasi. It was um, um, not like anything else I had ever seen in my life. <laughs> Very true. Uh, uh, with cows and motorcycles coming at you like flies. I don't know. They were all coming at you all the time down yeah, the street. Yeah. Little teeny streets, and they would every all of that would fit on the little tiny streets. Yeah. Cars were too big to including fit on the Including the occasional herd of water buffalo. Yes, including yeah. the wuffle, <laughs> water <laughs> buffalo yeah. walking Running down the street. There. Yes, yeah. and the bulls yeah. chasing yeah. that tourist. Yeah. 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 I don't know what you'd have to do to anger a bull, but that guy sure did. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, with that, thank you very much for sharing. I mean, thank you, Bollywood, Wade. that sound like it was great, I'm sure, and I know you enjoyed India. And uh, just want to say thank you very much for all you're doing. Thank you, Wade. Both thank you, you, Wade. For what you're doing in the community. Yeah. And uh, one last thing, you don't have to answer me. We have plans for next year. Uh, what's the theme? Oh, we, we do have that. ideas. We have two ideas so yeah. far. Well, we can't we, go there. We're we going to surprise yes, everybody. We don't even walk away from cleanup the next day okay. before Without we're thinking, thinking of, about it. Yes. Yeah, we have two yeah. ideas. We, yeah. we haven't decided which direction sounds we're going. Sounds good. Well, but it'll be at the same time next year. Good. Everybody, right. thank you very much for joining us. Uh, stay tuned because we will find out what next year's theme is going <laughs> to be. There you go. With, you, uh, with that, thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Thank you, Wade. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good job. Thanks, Wade. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Thank it was fun. Yeah.